<laughs> Alright guys, so last night I was out in the garage till like 1.30 Sold the turbo kit last night as well as the ECU and the 68mm throttle body So my buddy, I'm just gonna keep this here because his car is gonna come here for a swap anyways But he came by checked it out. I laid everything out just so he knows what he's buying and you know Just kind of get a visual. It's gonna be his first turbo setup I'm just gonna put this away in the box in the corner over there and get this, you know, all uh, like put away until he's ready to do his swap. So last night I was doing the compound right here on the black uh, finishing pad. I was buffing until like about maybe 11:30 ish, and it was like dumbass loud. So um, I stopped. So I did the hood, the fenders, both these doors, and the pillar all the way down to this hard line right here. So I gotta hit this quarter panel, the roof and all of the left side of the car. I was getting comfortable eating my nephew's McDonald's in my room while playing uh, CSGO. And I forgot how much, like how many more things I had to do to get this car ready for tomorrow. I still have my black dog cover, so I have to pull it off my car, stick this one back on for the time being, so I can get that one painted with Rally Blue. I still gotta pull my bumper off. And let me tell you, the, the Revive, I use this on the bumper and like, the moldings the mirrors and stuff and it really really b brought back that satin black all over the whole car that i was using this on and the side molding so i don't have to worry about repainting those anymore the bumper definitely because you know daily driver it's like all these rock chips and stuff that's on my bumper paint cracks from getting hit um swiped it with my crx the other day so i gotta pull the bumper off i gotta get that uh sanded down Fresh coat of black, um, finish buffing the car, paint the valve cover, pull my spoons out, put those on the car after I clean them up because they're kind of dusty, uh, clean out the interior, and I'm not sure if I want to uh, put in my Beagle door panels just so it looks more complete. The only thing is that the Beagle door panels are a power window, so this uh, rod for the uh, regulator might protrude into the door panel, so... Not quite sure what I want to do, but um, <clears throat> that's last. I can always do that later in the night if I don't go to Antioch for their little night meet. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just knock out the rest of the buffing. I may record in between just because um, I'd rather show you guys the end result because last night I've, ca I've captured a lot of uh, footage already. So. <laughs> All right, so I feel like it's been forever doing this, but I kind of had to push it to finish the car with the Revive because um, I got a lot of other things to do before tomorrow show. So I was doing the last portion of the buffing job on the left side of the car in the heat and like um, the compound dried up pretty quickly on the, uh, the car. And uh, so I was pretty much just plowing through it, giving it two pass wipe, two pass wipe, and then move on to the next panel. But I must say, with the uh, delete and revive from Sudbox, a uh, Sudbox, the surface is super smooth. I'm loving the way it's coming out, or the way it came out. Definitely a lot of elbow grease. The product works super fast. The delete 
already made a huge difference. And then the Revive took out all the line scratches. Well, not scratches, but the swirl, mar swirl marks. And, um, you know, made the, the finishing surface looking a lot shinier. Granted, there is a lot more scratches on the car because, you know, my cat is always on top of the car and sleeps on the hood when I pull up because it's nice and warm. But if you look at the quality, um, I should have taken it before, but it was pretty terrible before. But the quality now, or the, the result, is amazing. Um, I paid 40 bucks for the, uh, the two bottle of chemical. And um, it came with, you know, their rose red edition um, finishing pad. I used Harbor Freight's orange pad for cutting and black pad for finishing. And it worked out just fine on a Makita uh, buffer. Uh, it's not even a dual action, but does its job. Um, the Revive definitely brought the black back to black. But they also have a product called the Shadow. The Shadow is for all the black. And actually, I'm going to buy that later. Um, I just didn't have all the funds to buy when I bought those two. But So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set this car up how it's going to be in the show. Get my spoons out. Uh, pull my bumper and stuff off, valve cover and all that. So I just took off the valve cover and I noticed the rust on the lobes right here on cylinder three. Like it's, it's, you can, you can feel it with your finger. Um, no idea. It might have already been there from when I bought the motor because it sat for a year. But look at the, uh, the milk. You guys see that? That's all that blow by or blown head gasket, some shit, I don't know. But it's only right here on the studs, but it's not in the oil or anything. So that's probably just from the blow by. Got the valve cover off. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, my weld is holding up pretty good right there. The baffle. I'm gonna pull all the gasket off, or at least just this one, and not this one on the inside. Give it a good brake clean, strip the paint out, and then get that primered and paint it. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna get rid of this thing right here and just loop this hose um, wherever it goes. I'm gonna loop this hose into this barb and get rid of this hose and this thing right here all together. Um, since I won't be needing that anymore because I shaved it right here Might also shave that but I feel like I might shave it too much where it's gonna be like a dip or whatever, but um, I did notice that it was a lot different than this one. It just says Honda um, But yeah, I got to get moving on this because I still got to do my wheels and you know, you can see the engine bay is pretty spiders nest and all the uh, you know the 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 residue from polishing the car um then i got to do the bumper still christ now you guys can roast me all you want i don't have paint stripper i don't have time to go get paint stripper um this is the harbor freight wire wheel it's so freaking stiff like see it doesn't even flex that it takes the paint off fairly quickly and if you get the paint off all the way down to the primer and stuff, like completely off the valve cover, it's really smooth. So it's not like digging into the valve cover or anything like that. Works out just fine. And this was only about two minutes or so. And it's, it's, it's moving, so.
I forgot my tape. Bro. Oh my. Getting your hair done again. Tell her to go bald. Why? Don't have to worry about it no more. Are going to use for tomorrow's event. Damn, I feel I feel like this is I feel like this is too much clear. But it's not. Why does it feel like it's too much? Because it filled almost to the top. Oh. But it feels a lot because I normally use the bigger one. So when it's at the top, it's like damn it's a lot. But this is a small can, so. All the way. All the way. Can you give me that sponge right there? The Please? Yes. You want to scratch him with all this stuff? Oh, I don't. What the hell is just a wet? I'm not that meticulous person. Even though people will start like, oh, I don't want to hear that, bro. I'm like, honestly, man, this is a functional car, bro. I'm not here to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is like in the EF game is all about like the OEM rare optional stuff stuff. I'm like, hell no. I'm, I'm more performance than all the rare optional yeah. shit. I don't care. Give it a nice scrub. And then right here, when I'm fast-forwarding, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna pause and be like, honestly, guys, these are just road of slipstreams. They just got stickers on it. But, you know, I fake it as Spoon Sports because I'm a big fan of them, but I can't afford it. So, and then it's gonna continue fast-forwarding. <laughs> and then there's gonna be one, two, if not more comments about the fucking slipstreams. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Yeah, because they're all, these are all messed up already. Well, not messed up, they were clean. Not from HMO? Yeah. It's just that over time, like when they stole the go-kart yeah. and they stuck it on my car, they, uh, they scratched one, I don't know which one of the wheels it was, but they scratched on my wheel too. One of these? Yeah, one, because this wheel was on the car at the time. Man, I kind of want Bobo now, because Fucking Billy, no bitch. See, I'm gonna unfasten that part and put it on my YouTube channel. And when Billy watching, be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bitch. 
I got lucky. I paid 17 and uh, 20, no, I paid 19 and then like 21 shipped. $21? 2100 Oh, uh, after. Yeah. Tax so shipping and everything, I paid, paid 2100 total. That's why this is not a real, uh, not one of my choices to sell because yeah. I paid a lot for it. Yeah, that's how it really so That's why I did the Reggae Masters because I knew it was going to hold on to it. But I think I've held it long enough that uh, I ended up buying this. So that means the other one's got to go. No. HMO had these. Daniel tagged me on it. Mm -hmm. Called Steve. You were the 17th person that called me about it. I said, Steve, you know, every time I call you, I buy something. So I'm calling you in regards to those wheels. You still have them. Yes, I do. Give me a grand total. I got credit card ready. Paid for them outright. Right away. Had it shipped to me. Called Daniel. I told Daniel. Yeah, man, I called him and he fucking sold it already. A week later, he, he walked up and it was a crate to my house. And I was like, what are these? And he was like, oh, you're the one who bought them. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> told you. You don't, you don't taunt me shit like that. Derek, he tagged me on the... Uh, the wagon with the K. Next thing you know, like a week later, I bought the fucking car. I said, Derek, man, why'd you gotta tag me on this? He was like, well, you talking about where to go K? I thought this was a good price. Oh, the brown one, right? Yeah. The Derek truck? tagged me on it. I didn't find that. He did. And he tagged me on it and I bought it. God damn it. That's all I said. Like, they're the ones making me waste all this money. Yeah, but you know, I don't look back and I don't regret it. Because <laughs> look, look where it led me. Yeah. Look where I'm at now. You're making a dream a reality, pretty much. That's how I say it, at least. Make a dream, making a dream reality one step at a time. Yeah. You think I, you think I ever dreamed about having a right-hand drive K Turbo car? No. Well, you made it happen. My dreams changed. I had these a long time ago. I had these on my folder. What? Huh? The spoons? Yeah. Really? Same size, same specs, same everything. But, oh. but no sticker. I was, I was confused. Wait, you sold them? I cracked them. Damn, this is the first time I've seen these motherfuckers clean. Yeah, yeah they're clean. I'm supposed to rotate these already because I cameraed them up on the front wheels. These are brand new too, huh? Yeah. Brand new. Yeah. I can't tell. It's pretty gap. Two fingers? Yeah, no, that's cool. I ain't sweating off of it. Functional car. That's the, yeah, exactly. That's perfect. Oh, I dropped my left ear. It's, it's ringing hella bad. Your left ear? My left hearing. Why? Like it's ringing right now. You know the superstitious uh, thing about it? Like what they were saying, if this starts happening or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the superstitious behind it is, but means people are talking yeah something like that but i don't know what this one means oh because it's, it's a different side yeah a different side yeah it means different things oh shit it's crazy ml so i barely even used the damn camera today and we're at like 30 percent for some reason and my screen is really dirty okay there we are nice and clean um so night fell really quickly um, I still got to head out to, you know, Antioch, which is a hour drive from here. Um, Shakai is tomorrow, and the car is uh, somewhat, somewhat ready. Um, so what I've done so far today was finish buffing out the car. Um, me and my buddy, we got the, the, the spoons all washed up and uh, installed on the car. Um, you guys may hate a little bit on the wheel gap. I actually like it. Uh, I want to get some meaty tires to kind of like get it to uh, fill up the gap a little bit without modifying my suspension. Let me get some light out for y'all real quick. So there it is, giant wheel gap because you know 1320 car life. Uh, the the rear is even higher, which does not even bother me at all, honestly. Valve cover has not been installed yet because it is still drying up. Um, Show you guys this little um, quick paint job I did on the uh, valve cover. It looks part blurple, which is fine. 
um, but it is War Rally Blue from the WRX. Missed a little spot right there, but whatever. If I put a spark plug cover on there, then it wouldn't even matter. And then the spark, uh, and then the oil cap right here, shaved. That actually came out really nice. So I'm gonna install that later tonight. Hopefully it dries up somewhat because it's under room temp instead of outside. Um, but yeah, for the most part, <clears throat> it's ready. Still contemplating about painting the bumper because I gotta get going, but um, it's an easy job, quick job. It's just having to take it off the car and all that bullshit. But I'm not gonna show that on camera just because I already got a ton of footage for you guys. Um, this is just Shakai's prep. And also a quick little review about the uh, Sudsbox um, compound. So I have the delete here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I have the delete and I have the revive. And I've used this on a lot of things like polishing out the black instead of using the shadow. I've used it to polish out my mirrors, which is also black. But anyways, uh, my thoughts on it, the, the compound works really quickly. The delete has like, <clears throat> it has like, a, it's grainy. So it, it kind of cuts deeper uh, like sandpaper, but doesn't really hurt your paint. Um, instead, what it does is that it helps remove the particles caked in the paint faster. And uh, I noticed that like real quickly. Um, and then the Revive just kind of took off a lot of the line marks that were on the car. Uh, but not the scratches that my cat made, bastard. But it did its job, and I actually have a lot left. He didn't really have to use a lot of the compound to finish the whole car. I barely even used a quarter of it, and the car came out amazing. And uh, at the end of this clip, I'll throw in some pictures so you guys can get more uh, visual look of the reflection that the car gave after the compound, um, you know, being applied on the rotary buffer. So I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, the next video you guys are gonna see after this one is gonna be the actual Shikai event. And I'm gonna keep that one separated from this video just because it's gonna make this video a little bit too long. So um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys wanna see this car, you know, out and about with this setup and the new uh, newly buffed paint, stick around for the next video. Peace.